I need something dramatic on here to start it off. Well, I've got this dramatic can go on here. Um, no, that's not dramatic, is it? <clears throat> so, I went out shooting with Mark. Um, because this is the world of YouTube, um, he's Air Gun Gunner. That's right, yeah, Air Gun Gunner. Um, he's, he's got a permission somewhere, he invited me along because I, I dispatched all the rats here. Um, and I got, I got what I deserved, which was nothing. Um, he got a couple of crows, a couple of pigeons and a rabbit as well. Um, and I think he was a bit concerned that I was a bit dejected. Obviously, I wasn't because I haven't put the time in as he has. So, so he was um, lasing type. So he was laser range finding stuff, adjusting his his sights and stuff. And I, and I just I wasn't doing that. So I don't think I'm at, I'm at that level, as it were. Um, then he went away and I said, Ryan, I'm going to put more work into this because um, it's. Well, for the amount of work he puts in, I need to I need to put in some work as well to get my get myself sorted. So the first thing that I I needed to do was work out where my I suppose it, right. So what I'm gonna I'm not I'm gonna try not to copy all the words that I've heard on YouTube because I don't know what people are saying. So what I'm gonna try and do I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try and understand the principle of it and explain it in my words how the principle works and yeah and how I've worked it out. And I'm sure it's weird, but I, I don't use the same thing. So the first thing I, you have to realize is obviously, um, from, the, from the barrel itself, my, I'm getting a battery low warning on my, cam, my camera. So from the, from the barrel itself, when the, when the pellet leaves the barrel, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna blow your mind. So two pellets, one pellet, two pellets. So if I if I take, so you go get the head on this first. If I take these two pellets, let's call this one A and this one B. So A, I load into my rifle, okay, and B, I hold at the same height as m the, the barrel of my rifle. Okay, now I fire the rifle and drop pellet B at the same time. Okay, now because of gravity, both these pellets will hit the ground at exactly the same time. Okay, obviously B will fall in a straight line this way. So that's the path B will take, and A will take, have its trajectory this way, but they will both hit the ground at the same time. Yeah? So once you get your head around that, you know that the pellet that fires from your barrel is always falling towards the earth, and you've got to adjust your aiming point depending on where that falling to earth arc is okay to, depending on where the, where the your target is on that arc there that's how i kind of got my head around the concept of the two and and that's why you need to know how far something is away from you to adjust your aim point okay this is how i went about it so one of the um one of the first things i needed to do is obviously work out um what distances I can do in my garden? I, mean, I don't. My garden isn't massive. Um, and one of the other issues was isolating the gun from me, because I don't think there's any point zeroing your weapon if it's not if you're kind of not removing all of the variables. So you've got to be as still as possible. Um, Luckily, 
as well as um, getting it on a bipod, I went a little bit further than that and got myself one of these. Um, Uh, this is a, a K-Zone shooting rest. Um, last thing I want to do is obviously try and zero the weapon and get my all my ranges sorted for future and for that to be on a on a quite a dodgy basis. You know, with so so this allowed me to um, kind of take myself out of the equation, take any, any errors I might make out of the equation. Um, after I did it with this, I did do a check, uh, a three round group with, um, on the bipod, and it was, it was fine. <laughs> I probably didn't need that, um, but yeah, hey. But this isn't, you know, it's it's very plasticky. Um, there's a lot of stuff here, not, not too expensive, and um, all these bits come in two halves so you can, before you put them together and screw them together, you can, you can fill the bottom half with, with weight, so it's, it's a, quite a decent thing. Um, yeah, I mean, so I'm, you know, I'm not saying that this is, that you need this, but I, well, I, I probably wouldn't have bought this, if I'm honest. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy this. There's no, unless you're doing this every day, um, I don't really see the point in it. The 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 um the bipod worked, did its job, so I don't really. Uh, yeah, if I if I had my time again, I would not have added this to the basket. Um, hey ho, but I did. Right, the the thing that I did buy, or rather, I got um, my other half to buy because it's my anniversary coming very soon, was um, this laser rangefinder. Um, it's a hawk. It's the the four hundred, so out to um, so out to four hundred meters. Um, it's got the adjustable um, eyepiece on it because obviously I, I wear glasses. I'm, I'm not going to say too much about it. I might do a video about this when I when I when I read the instructions. Um, and obviously because I'm because I'm in my I'm in my house and my garden, I had one of these so. I didn't use this a great deal because I had a tech measure. Um, so in my garden, I can go out to, uh, initially I, I went from, um, from inside my house on my table out to my garden and back stopped being a, being a f massive field behind us, um, a cropped field. And I think I was at, yeah, 27 yards. I was at 27 yards um, using. Uh, what was I using? I was using Magnums. Yeah, I was using Magnums. The ones I was using when I went out with um, with Mark, I used the same pellets then. And I went from 27, and I think then to to out to 33. And this is these are just distances that I can get in my garden um, and I was having to adjust there with those two so I was having to adjust my sights based on that and then I switched to um, Air Arms Diablo Field and I didn't have to switch I had the same aiming point for 27 and 33 um, I, I moved things around a bit and I got myself out to 37 yards and at 37 yards, I was I was going. Yeah, I was going up two at 37 yards. And I'll, I'll tell you what I mean by that. Um, let me let me redo this. So from my from my barrel, okay, as the um. As the pellet leaves my barrel with those um, Diablo fields, 
there's not a great deal of loss of loss of height so the trajectory kind of falls off l much later on with the with those diablo fields might might be might weigh less or i'm not quite sure so my aiming point didn't really change until about here until about the sort of 33 33 yards where, where my aiming point changed and when i got to 37 yards to get back into the into the center of the target i went up two i'll show you what i mean so th this is kind of my um process now So, um, <clears throat> on the uh, on the top of my site, I've got this uh, adjuster ring here, yeah, and um, when I went out to thirty-seven yards, I just moved that up to two, and that brought me back onto target. So, so I know in my, I'm not, I'll write it down somewhere or whatever. When I, when I range find something, if it's 37 yards, that means I've got to go up to. But I also know that anything up to about, well, anything up to sort of 30, 33 yards, I don't need to adjust my, just my, uh, my sights. Okay, so, and and that's as far as I can go in my garden. Um, you'll you'll see. I'll, I'll put a video up on of me putting a couple of shots across my garden um, as far as I possibly could. I've got a nice aerial shot of that, um, and that's as far as you. So at the moment, when I'm when I'm shooting out to thirty-seven yards, I know that I need to go up two, and as I get more room and more place to do this. I'll be able to go out further and see how far up I go. Or I say, right, if it's above 37, okay, I've got to make it as well, do I, do I take the shot or not? Um, at the moment, I haven't done enough at that range to be sure that I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get the, sh going to get a kill shot from it. Um, so I, I suppose it's all right zeroing it finding out what you've got to do but then you've also got to couple that with the fact that am I, am I currently confident that at 37 yards and beyond I could I could take um, a, a lethal shot as it were and and now the answer is no so I wouldn't do that so I'd need to do more because because of the way my garden is set up and the things I've been shooting I've been shooting kind of between 10 and 15 yards away and obviously that's a that's a total different ball game to shooting something 37 40 yards away okay so that so that's where we are now that's that's kind of how i explained it to myself and how my this kind of adventure continues to become more technical um but obviously i think the thing we're missing at the moment is practice that's what we're missing at the moment is more practice and that's um that's what comes next i think more practice